What's Happening in Tech, Episode 3. Stay tuned. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions, and we're back with Episode 3 of What is Happening in Tech this week. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this series so far. I'm really enjoying it. I'm just putting together different content that I think is informational, that's useful, that I enjoy, and that I hope you will enjoy as well. So let's get into this video. And the first thing that I wanna mention before we go any further is that I have some really big news at the end of this video. And I promise you, if you are at all interested in what Zach with IT Career Questions is doing, you'll definitely wanna check out that news. So to start today's agenda, we're gonna talk about browser extensions being hacked. And credit to this is due to Krebs on Security. It's krebsonsecurity.com. I'll put a link in the description below. But I got this information from their website and there's a lot of really good useful information if you're looking to get into security over there. So check it out. But the website mega.nz, which is a file sharing website, had their browser extension hacked just recently, which led to the input that was being put in for credentials, meaning your username and password, was being sent off to a private server somewhere out on the internet. Your credentials were basically being being farmed from there. It's one thing for a verified publisher to actually put an extension out on the web that you can download, but it's another thing to have somebody actually hack that extension that is already verified, published, and across you know millions of people's browsers at some point. And now the information that you're inputting within this browser, yeah, it's not safe. And that's, that's a concern. So if you are using extensions, not saying that you shouldn't by any means, but I would definitely be careful, do your research. I was just watching an episode of Security Weekly just yesterday, and they were talking about WordPress plugins and being hacked. And one thing that Paul had mentioned was the fact that for his WordPress plugins, he always is very due diligent into looking at the last time that an, an actual plugin was updated. And they also look into how many downloads and reviews and stuff that those plugins have. So that's WordPress. Now we have to think about that as a browser extension. You might wanna look into how often a browser extension is actually updated, and you might wanna look at also how many different reviews and downloads it has and see what those reviews are. It's very, very important to look into this information now because if you don't, you might end up just like what happened to mega.nz and your credentials might not be safe. The information that you input within the browser itself, it, that might not be safe. So again, make sure you are doing your due diligence and look into this information before you just start downloading different extensions or WordPress plugins if that's something you're into also. Since we've already talked about Security Weekly and Paul Asadorian, we will be doing an interview with him this Friday where I am going to be asking him different questions about how he got into security and any advice that he has for you who is looking to get into that security field. If you guys don't know who Paul is, go check out Security Weekly right now. I'll put a link in the description for both their website and their YouTube channel. I highly suggest looking into these guys just by staying informed by listening to their different podcasts that they have there. So check them out and stay tuned for the interview that I have coming up with him because I am really excited about this one. So keeping with the security trend that we have going with this video, the next thing we're talking about is real pen testing. I actually ran across this website the other day when I was doing some research and I was blown away by what they were doing over there. So I got signed up with them. I looked into some of the different things that they were offering, some of the different things they were doing. I looked out on YouTube and saw a couple other videos about these guys also, but it's hackthebox.eu. They actually have over 70 different virtual machines that will let you do real life pen testing procedures. And I started to get into it a little bit and a lot of it honestly is above what I'm doing right now. But some of the things that I've learned so far by going through the Linux courses that I've been doing, I actually understood some of this stuff. So I was actually really happy about what I did understand compared to the vast majority of the stuff that I didn't understand. But the fact is, you can actually do real life pen testing here. If you're looking to be a pen tester, if you're going through different kind of courses, like the Pen Test Plus from CompTIA, for instance, this might be something that you might want to look into. And I can't really go into detail about you joining them right now because if you go to their website and you try to join, you will be prompted with something. And that's about all that I'll say. So we'll leave the suspense there. But the thing is, 
these guys are legit. It's really, really cool. I enjoyed what I saw. I will put a link to them in the description. The website where I found these guys out at actually had a scenario uh, typed out where they went through the process of what they did to pen test uh, one of the machines that are out on Hack the Box. And the, the scenario that they went through was actually really cool because what they did was they got into a server and they had to download a uh, different like zip file and extract that and then you know decode things. It was really interesting. It was really interesting that process they went through, but again, I've been learning some of this stuff and the fact that it was like ringing a bell with me made me super happy. So a lot of the stuff that you guys are gonna see here uh, that's my personal interest is going to be about security because I'm personally interested in that. I really love that side of the IT field. So some of the videos that you see that are just kind of me talking to you guys is, are definitely gonna be about security because I enjoy it. It's a big thing. We need more people in security. So I hope you guys enjoy that and you stay tuned for that. Let's get into that big news. Let's the, the big news. I'm going back to work. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm going back to work. I'm quitting YouTube. Uh, the whole YouTube thing is done. We're not going to do any more videos actually on YouTube anymore because I'm done. It's just it. We're done. Sorry. I hope you, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Okay. So all kidding aside, I'm not going back to work full time. I'm going to be doing some consulting for my previous job. And if you guys don't know what I did at my previous job, I was the mobile device administrator and they are looking for some help with their MDM. And I really enjoyed MDM. So I'm gonna go back there a couple hours a week and help them out with that. And I'm really excited about that. I miss the people there that I worked with and it's gonna be fun just doing something that is mobile device management related because I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed that. It was my little step into security because there was a lot of security involved with keeping devices secure in the enterprise that I was in. So I'm really excited about that. I am always going to be doing YouTube, so don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. There are a lot of exciting things coming still. A lot of big things in the works that I'm really, really excited about. I cannot wait to share with you guys. So I will talk more about that later. Appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoy this series. We'll have more to come. This one is a little bit off the cuff in some ways. So again, thank you. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for another video, hit me up in the comments below. I'd greatly appreciate that. As always, take it easy.